Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you how to do this pretty oranges and lemon hat. I've got a lovely bobble on the top here and it's the same hat as the oranges and lemon blanket. The bobble on the top, you don't need a bobble but you can put the bobble on. So I'm going to show you how to do this really easy hat. Do any size you like. You can use any yarn you want. Do any colour that you want and use the hook size it tells you on your label. I'll show you how to do the easiest baubles you've ever done in your life. These are really easy and I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm going to show you how to turn these 60 stitches and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rows of pattern into a little hat. So this is going to make a nice size toddler hat. If you want it smaller, you can do it smaller. If you want it for a baby, I would do 50 stitches. I would do 50. And then that way, when we fold it and make it into a hat, it's going to be small enough for a baby. It's up to you if you want to do that. If you want to make it for an adult, just make it bigger. Do the chain. If you're, if you're doing this as a hat, wrap it around the person's head to see if it's going to fit. But I would add an extra couple of stitches because we are going to sew this. This is going to be the easiest little bobble hat that you've ever done in your puff. So when you do your chain, you're going to do an even number of stitches. Now I'm just going to do a small sample. So it doesn't matter what length you make it. Use an even number of stitches. So I've done a little sample. It doesn't matter how big it is. It's really easy to do this pattern. Now I've got an even number of stitches. We're going to skip the first stitch and go into the second stitch. And when you do that, you'll lose that stitch and you should have an odd number by the time you've finished your first row. So we've got an even number. We're going to skip the first one and go into the second one. And we're going to do a UK double crochet. That's a single crochet if you're in the USA, all the way along. We're going to chain one and do another row, chain one and do another row. We're going to do three rows to begin with. So into your second stitch in your chain. And you'll do one into each stitch all the way along. So I'm on my last stitch. I'm going to chain one and turn my work around and I'm going to go into the very first stitch, the very first stitch and put one into each stitch along. This is my second row. I'm going to do this so I've got three rows done. So once I've got three rows done, I'll come back and I'll show you how to do that bobble row. So I've got my last stitch to do and I've done three rows. In between your bobble row, you'll do three rows of your base colour. So my base colour is white. I'm going to take that stitch back. On your last stitch, keep two loops on your hook. Now I'm going to take the yellow. I've got my yellow here. Now you won't have any, the only tail you'll have to sew on is this one and possibly your very last one. I'm going to have just a little bit of a tail, just a little bit. Put your yarn over your hook and pull it through those two loops and then turn your work around. Now what you're going to do is we're going to carry this white along with us and this tail. We're going to make sure that tail, I'll wind it around just the ones around there your stitching we're going to do one double crochet right into that very first stitch keep your tails there and keep your white up there as well we're going to carry it along so we don't need to cut any yarn so keep your yarn and your tail in a little bit fiddly to start with pull my stitch in a little bit tighter now into that very first stitch do your double or single crochet, whatever country you're in. 
Now you're going to put one into the next stitch. Keep that tail down, we're going to work it in and keep that white. We're going to work along with the white. We're going to just trap it in and we won't need to cut and tie in ends. So one double crochet into it, so one into the first stitch and one into the next stitch. Just keep those two yarns there. Now into the third one, the pattern is a double crochet and a double treble. If you're in the USA, that's a single crochet and a treble crochet. So yarn around your hook twice and into the next stitch. Trap that tail in and trap that white line in as well. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over through two loops. Yarn over and through two loops. Now it makes a big tall stitch. So we're going to go back to the UK double. That's a USA single in the next stitch, a small stitch in there. Keep your little tail ending and keep your yarn going along. It's going to avoid you sewing any ends in. So it's going to push that like a bobble to the front. The easiest bobble you can make is a UK double treble and that's a treble crochet if you're in the USA. Now into the next one, yarn over twice. You're going to do that double treble, yarn over. Now my tail is getting tucked in that little bit. Just tuck it in to the back here. So yarn through two loops, yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops. So the tail's gone now. It's all worked in. So into the next one, do your double crochet. Keep bringing that white along with us. Trap it in above that stitch. So we've done a double crochet. Now do the taller stitch. Yarn over twice into the next one. Through two loops, through two loops, and through two loops. And then your double crochet. And that's what you're going to repeat to near the end. So you've got your double crochet. Now we need to do that bobble. Through two loops, through two loops, through two loops. Double crochet into the next stitch. And as you can see, I'm just trapping that white in all the way along with me. So we won't have to cut it and sew it in. So we've done the double crochet. Now back to the bobble. Yarn over twice and into the next stitch. Through two loops, through two loops, through two loops. And double crochet. Yarn over twice and into the next one. And the double crochet, the double crochet is going to pull that bigger stitch down into a bobble. And this is what you're going to get on that side going to get all these little easy baubles. So the next one's a bobble. So it's a, there we are. Then the next one, keep trapping that white in. Just right through, trap that white in there. Do your double crochet. It's a single if you're in the USA. So I'm going to do a, a bobble next. And I'm going to do my double crochet trap to fold that bobble over type up, if you know what I mean. And the last stitch, I'm going to do a double crochet. Pull your yarn through. Now what we're going to do with this one, I'm using two different colours, so I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it, not too long a tail. So I've got my last two loops on. I'm going to put my white around and pull through those two loops. Just tighten that lemon up. Then turn your work around and you've got your lemon tail. So into the very first stitch we're going to do three rows of the double crochet. That's three rows of single crochet if you're in the USA. So one straight into that first stitch and we're going to trap that yellow tail in with us. One into the next stitch all the way along. 
one into each stitch. Now one into that one, trap the tail in, one into each stitch. Just keep your tail trapped in there. Now if you were just going to do this two colours, you would just use that the same way we did the white one. You'll bring your lemon yarn along the top and then you can go up and change it to the lemon or to the white, whatever you're on. But I'm going to change the colour after these three rows of white. Now I'm on my last stitch, I've done my third row. I'm going to put my yarn through and keep two loops on. Now I'm going to go to my orange. Remember I just rolled a little ball up. So I'm going to get both my ends of my orange. And now I'm doubling up the orange to make it thicker. You can do that with all the yarn if you want. I'm just using up odd balls of yarn. Now again, I'm going to leave a little tail. I'm leaving just a little tail. And I'm going to pull that through. Turn my work around. Now you'll always do your bobble row from when you're on the back of your work. And that way it'll push the bobble to the front. Now I'm going to wrap my tail around once. Tighten my stitch in a little bit. A little bit fiddly. But once you get the hang of it. Tighten up my white and I'm going to carry the white along as well. So what I've got is I've got my white and my little tail of orange. Just nip it and pull that stitch in a bit tighter on the hook. And again you're going to go in to that first stitch and I'm going to go in and pull through and do my double crochet. I've got my tail and my white. I'm going to carry my white all the way along to the other end. So we've done the beginning stitch. So we're going to do one at the beginning and at the end you'll always have a double crochet and a double crochet. And the same at the end. That's a single crochet and a single crochet if you're in the USA. So into there, one double crochet. Trap the tail in and your white yarn. Now you're going to do your wrap over twice. One, two and into the next stitch. Through two loops. Keep your tail down. Through two loops and through two loops. Now you can just leave the tail down and sew it in. But this works a little better. One into the next stitch. And then do your bobble stitch around the hook twice and through. Yarn over through two loops, through two loops, and through two loops. Keep your little tail end in. Then that smaller stitch. And do that all the way along. And when you get to the end, you're going to keep two loops on. I'm going to cut my yarn. Leave a little tail. I need to get some new scissors. Just hold that tail in. Go back to my white and pull through. Now I'm going to take my tail around again. Just bring it around, put it on the top and we're going to crochet it in. So I'm going to trap my tail in and I'm going to do my three rows of double crochets. That's single crochets if you're in the USA. Just trap that tail in. So that's what you'll do. I've done my three rows. All, all I would do is just keep my last two loops on. Then I'll go back and put my yellow on or whatever colour you're going to put on. If you're just doing this two colours, just go back to your other colour. 
So once you've got the body of the hat to the height that you want, all you're going to do with this, I've got 60 stitches, but you can put 50 in if you want it for, this is a teenage size. If you want a toddler size, do 50. If you want to do it for a baby, do about 45 or do the chain and wrap it around the person's head as long as it's an even number of stitches. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to fold it in half like this, really easy. I've still got my last stitch on. And I'm going to crochet down the sides and join it down the side. So I'm going to just go through the first stitch here. Go through the first stitch. Pull my yarn through and I'm going to slip stitch. Tighten it in. Now you should have the same number of stitches as long as you keep your colours matched up. We're going to go down. And just do a double crochet all the way down. You can see as long as you keep it matched up. Just do it all the way down and that's going to join your hat. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a little turn around and I'm just going to go back on itself with a couple of stitches you're not going to see these stitches just go in bring your tail I'm going to cut my end pull that through and just slip it through a couple of these stitches them through and a little knot. Make it disappear. Trim it off and turn it out the right way around. And you should have all your colours joining like this. Now you've got this. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to gather up the top really easy and then I'll show you how to make a pom you put a pom pom on the top of it. So we'll go around so I've got myself a piece of yarn and all I'm going to do is gather this in just put a couple of stitches through here going to tie this in little tail end just to keep it secure I want to put a pom pom on the top I'll show you how to make a really quick pom pom tuck that end into the inside it's all into the inside what we're going to do, oops, we're going to go around the top, in and out, just in and out, around the top of the pom pom, through one stitch, back through the other, through one, and back through the other, in and out like this. Now what you're going to do is you're going to slowly pull that in. Just gather it in. Just take it easy. Just pull it around. Pull those stitches around. So you gather it in. Do a little break test with your yarns to see how much you can pull this in. Just pull it in. Give it a little wriggle and a little pull. A little wriggle and a little pull. And pull all that in. Just 
gather it all up. I'm going to put a stitch in. It's in here. Keep it pulled tight. I'm going to put my thread through to the underside. Now don't worry if you've got a largish hole. We're going to sew it closed with a couple of stitches and we're going to put a pom-pom on the top. You can double your yarn up if you want just to give it a really good pull. Just stitch closed a little hole. And you're going to just snip that off. And that is the body of your hat done. Now I'm going to put a nice big pom-pom on this. I'm going to put an orange pom-pom because it finishes in yellow and I'm going to top it with orange. So I'm going to just use this box. Anything that's about five inches. What I'm going to do is I am just going to wrap it around and around and around. Really, really easy. Six, seven, eight, Nine. should give me a nice enough pom-pom. What I'll do, I'm going to cut the yarn here. I'm going to slide it off my box. Slide it off. Keep it in all its loops. Now I'm going to take a double piece of my yarn, I'll move my box away out of the way, take a nice decent length of my yarn, put it down, put in the middle. Underneath, put all of that wrapping just on the top. Now what you're going to do is bring it over and cross it over. Now the first knot that you do in a pom-pom is not going to be really, really tight. The second one will be. So I'm going to cross it over itself and take this one and put it under one, two times around. I'll try and show you what I'm doing. So this one is going to go that way once, oops, catch my ends. I'm going to go in this way with this one, one and two, two wraps, two wraps on this side and two wraps on that side. So you end up with a knot like this, you end up with a twisty knot. Now pull it in slow, make sure it's in the middle of your bundle and pull it in slowly, 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 slowly and tighten it as tight as you can go. Now that one won't be all that brilliantly tight. So what you're going to do is you're going to flip it over. And you're going to do the same thing. Oops. Cross it over. Cross it over like this and wrap through there one and around and through there twice. And this one through that way, back through that way one and two. And you're going to pull it again as tight as you can and that is going to pull your knot really tight. I'm going to wrap it one more time. I want this pom-pom to stay in nice and tight. This time cross it over, bring it through in a knot and then just take it through one time 
and through that and just take it through that one time and then pull as tight as you can and that has pulled a really nice tight pom pom in the middle been nice and tight tighten it in just for good measure try another knot now what you're going to do is you're going to get your scissors or get some bigger scissors this is so bright don't cut these you need those to sew in what you're going to do is you're going to go through all these loops and cut just push your scissors through and cut all the loops just check it like this to catch all the loops and cut them and do the same to the other side now move these out of the way you're going to need them to stitch the pom-pom to your hat and do the other side catch all the loops got all the loops done cut through any that your scissors didn't catch now these are my tying on loops wrap that around your hand wrap that around and give it a good shake Shake, 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 shake. Pull it through your hand like this. You're going to neaten it all up. Just pull it through and catch it like that. And now you're going to trim. Again, we'll just move all those little frilly bits to the side now what you're going to do is there's your lovely little pom pom look at that I'm going to get my darning needle what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put two of these loops on my, my needle I get my hat and through sort of one side I'm going to push two of these strands through push them through put the other two that's why you need a long strand put the other two through and just go over the other side from that that's the first two so i'm just going to push the other two in through this side and what i'm going to do is i've got them a good bit apart just tie i know tie it nice and tight and then another one and that should hold your pom pom in it is two threads and it's really tight. This is acrylic yarn. Pull it all tight and then snip it off and turn your hat. And look at that, you've got your little hat. Put all that out of the way. And there you go, you've got your little bobble hat with your pom pom on the top. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you click on the bell icon, YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.